All right, guys. So I'm changing the fuel injectors on my '89 Honda Prelude. Um, did the first basic couple things. Just kind of removed the plastic um, two 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter bolts that hold that thing in. Um, I watched a video earlier. The guy said to pry on the side of this here, then it'll pop out, and that's incorrect. What you want to do is you want to you want to push on this little edge outwards and this little side clip will pop out on both sides you gotta do it to both sides and then pull this thing out and it'll pop out from the injector there um, then I'm gonna remove these hoses next and uh, release the pressure on the fuel filter there or or there and um, just so I can Leave the full picture. All right. So next thing I did was remove the hose that uh, plus this. I don't know what this is. Some kind of regulator or pressure or something. But I peel that back. Oh, I'm sitting right here. And then I uh, put a 17 millimeter on that and relieve the pressure and automatically see a little bit of fuel come out so that's good that means I relieve the pressure I think my next step is uh, going to remove this I don't know if people call it air idle control valve Chilton said it's the electronic air something circulation valve the ACV or something so that's next so uh, so I'm removing this unit here and uh, this one here kind of feels like it's getting jammed up here. It's going to be tight. It might rub a little bit, but just keep going at it and it's going to it'll pull out in that. So, yeah, it's pretty much disconnected. All I got to do is uh, disconnect the hoses there. Probably should have took the hoses off first, then the unit, because that way I could have kind of like pushed on it to get the hoses off, but all good. All right, so I removed the banjo fitting here to the fuel rail. Uh, there's copper washers that go on top and bottom. Those absolutely do not lose those because you need those to put them back on. Um, then there's, let me get back here. There is here back behind the fuel rail, there's four. There's a view of another one there. There's four. There's one more behind here. And one there, you can see it. Um, They're really tight to get to. These two in the center are really easy. 10 millimeter, just from this direction. Ratchet there. But this one here, I use a 10 small, a small 10 millimeter wrench. Put the circular part on the back. Twisted it loose and then pulled it out with my fingers. That's gonna be fun to get back in. And kind of likewise with this one, except I just took that hose kind of behind there and I got I was able to get the ratchet kind of cornered it and finally got it on the socket on the bolt and then loosened it and then pulled those out with my fingers too so all right I think uh, it's pretty loose now I can, I can wiggle it now so I think I'm gonna take it out and then uh I'll go from there so that was pretty easy just kind of wiggled it a little bit and pulled right out um seals are good but that doesn't mean that the actual resistor Resistance is good. I think they're for sure this one right here Has a little bit of rust on there. You can see that. So for sure. I don't like that All right, moving on well, This is what the first one looks like I don't know if you can see that it's not really focusing It's whoa it's Pretty nasty so Really glad I'm changing these okay, So that is pretty gross. Uh, gonna wipe it down a little bit and uh, clean it up and then put some motor oil on what is going to be the new cushion and ring. So, yeah, do that first. A little bit of a. I'm actually gonna go. I had this sitting around. I don't know why I have it, but it's a 20W50. I'm gonna just put a little bit out on those O-rings and the cushion so that uh I don't know, I feel like maybe it'll 
withstand higher temperatures because it's a lot thicker so that's what I'm doing just a little bit just to lubricate it so I used a little mask just a little bit of mask there I tried wiping a lot of with the microfiber towel so I didn't get like particulates in there um, like use something non shedding and then I wiped it a lot without any lube, any like hydration and then I put a little bit of mass airflow sensor spray and I was able to get it really clean so I don't know just my opinion alright so got the new ones in I got them um, pretty much exactly where they were before um it's just straight up basically and I really cleaned all really well in the little grooves there and what I did was just took just a smear of oil with my finger and kind of just slightly just put a film around the, the the ring at the bottom the cushion I'm sorry and uh, the green ring at the top this is a, a bushing set from uh, from JB but I didn't need it because the the injectors already came with everything I needed um this is a, a set for the two different type of injectors California and then otherwise other nationwide vehicles I don't know um, I think it's a depth difference or something but and then two different o-rings for the end not quite sure what that means but anyway it had everything I needed so um, just like I said I put those in and reverse order so I got the fuel roll back on I took some time to actually clean it as you can tell it's uh, really clean now um, these two at the end went in really well. Just kind of have to jiggle it a little bit gently. Don't super force it, but you know, after uh, there, there's a new ring, so you gotta just kind of gently slide it in, and it feels nice and snug now um, compared to how it was before. And uh, yeah, moving forward. So I guess I could have removed this. I don't know what this is, to tell you the truth, but. Um, there's a Phillips bolt, a Phillips screw head there, and it uh, looks like there's two of them actually, but I didn't want to feel like messing with that, so I just kind of um, use a little bit of finesse, use my two fingers, one from this side, and then one, my right finger from the other side, and kind of got that one on finger tight now. Um, for this one, this far one here, um, this one in the center of the screen pretty much. I had to use a screwdriver to push that hose over and then I would maybe remove the throttle cable make it a lot easier to get in there with your fingers and get it on and then once it's on you can use your ratchet to get it all the way on alright so everything back on, I got my hoses the right one is going to the right one got my connections back on I didn't put the covers on yet because I wanted to Turn the key over and pressurize it, make sure I'm not leaking from anywhere, which I'm not. The banjo is not leaking, and the, none of the injectors are leaking from the fuel rail, so that means it's good. Uh, and uh, we're gonna turn it over and see what happens. I think the first turnover will still have fuel cylinder, I mean, uh, fuel and cylinders from the last um, injector, so I don't think it's gonna turn on exactly perfect this time around. cleaner in there I think it was spitting it all out now it sounds fucking beautiful yes I think the squeaks from the coolant and stuff that came out yeah it's just from the, it's just rubbing off stuff oh man that sounds the response is instant oh yes 
Jesus, thank God. <laughs> well, the, I'll tell you what, man. Um, the engine was really shaking a lot before the fuel injectors changed. Now it's pretty much just normal vibration, man. Oh, I love it. Uh, Uh, hopefully it's all good. Take it for a little quick drive. 